Hello everybody, it is your boy Toonplays here, back with another video, hope you guys are all doing amazing. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a refresh avatar button. It's going to be a top bar. Um, this was kind of requested as part of like one of the avatar games, you know, a lot of people have that and want to ask about how you can do this. Um, so it's honestly kind of simple. Um, you're going to go in the description now, uh, just so you know, everything is in the description. Um, you can find all the links, Discord, everything like that. If you want help, I highly recommend going and clicking the links below. And yeah, so <clears throat> you're going to find this. Um, it's going to just be this right here. Um, you can just download it, hit uh, purchase or whatever, download in studio, whatever's easier for you. If you download it, then um, all you're going to do is you're going to go to your model tab, click this button right here, or um, you're just going to be in your home tab. Make sure toolbox is open and it should just be in your inventory right here. Um, but yeah, so um, we'll get started with this. If you're new to my channel, just hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. Um, we almost have 48,000 subscribers a lot of tutorials so if you need any help or anything um just you know be a subscriber comment below and i got you um uh, but yeah so simple enough uh as you can tell down here we have a lot of stuff um and i guess it didn't have the uh read me uh let me refresh and double check that's why that's not in there all right i got it now so basically um in here you'll have just a read me um it's really simple this has my youtube of course the tutorials and then the top bar credits which i'm gonna go into in depth in a sec here um, but really all I gotta do is ungroup this. So um, we're actually, I'm just gonna show it to you. Um, so RS is replicate storage, uh, starter player scripts, and then we have um, server script service. So once you do that, you can delete this and it's pretty much made. Um, now you can just hit play here, whatever's easier for you. And as you can tell, um, it's gonna be up in this corner right here. Now, um, simply as it is, if you are to you know customize your outfit, if I were to get rid of my hats or accessories, um, a lot of people would want to just refresh the avatar. So instead of pressing the reset or whatever, you can just click this button right here and it will reset it for you. Now, I know a lot of games have figured out how you just do the uh, force field and the cameras are just, it's weird. I don't know how they do it. Um, so I'm going to search that up and I'm going to talk about it later. But basically, button works. All you need to do, super simple. And I'm going to explain to you if you want to customize this, move it, whatever you like to do, I'll show you exactly how to do it. Uh, but keep note, like I said, this works with this top bar. Um, but yeah, so let's get right to this portion. All right, so what we're using for this is something called UI Shelf. Now, this is a brand new um, uh, top bar that actually works with the new update that Roblox has for the top bar. Now, I was actually thinking about this because I was doing it and I was like, oh, let me use top bar plus. And then I realized it doesn't work. It's not updated with the new things that Roblox has. So this works, um, documentation could be better, but um, it basically shows you how to use it, install it. Um, there's also a place you can look at if you want, but it basically talks about a few things. So if you were to like want to make spacers, so like let's say in this top part right here, let's say it's the, the home button and stuff, you wanna make a spacer, you can totally do that. Um, there's about activated, it also talks about making menus. Um, so if you wanna do that, there's tool tips. So if you wanted to like, have it when people hover it over if you want to do bind key codes um you could just like hover this and it'd say like um oh press q or press l to like reset your character um things like that and then of course there's menus which is basically like um a little drop down in which you can do things um but yeah so i'm actually gonna make another tutorial on this sooner or later um just talking about how to use this and what we can do with it but yeah that's basically what we're using today and i'm gonna explain to you so in here we have the replicate storage um, there's a little refresh event uh, that's for the server side things we need to do um, but this just has all of the ui stuff that i was talking about just right now um, this is the main scripts they made so i didn't make this um, but yeah so we have a few things we have the rush refresh avatar and then we have refresh top bar now like i said super simple code um, we have the event the ui shelf so we're basically grabbing the module right here ui shelf because this is how we do this stuff uh, we have the event as well the event as well in this right here and basically what we're doing is we're creating a new icon. Uh, the name's going to be refresh avatar button. Order's going to be one. We're going to set the area to right. Now, if you want to put it on the left side of your screen or like in the middle, you just put middle, left, or right. Um, and then basically uh, the text is going to be refresh avatar. Um, and then when we activate it, we fire to the server. So we're firing from locally to the server side. And all we're doing is we're grabbing the character, grabbing their C-frame. We're going to load the character and then we're going to set their C-frame back to the original point. Because if you were to just load it, it would set them back to the spawn point. But we don't want that. We want to load them back to where they originally were. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, 
right here when it comes to customizing now if you wanted to you could just make yourself a little like let's say like roblox character icon um like you know you wanted to like yeah like this like you wanted this just as literally this just this image um you want to just put it on the right side of the corner in a little circle box so when people click it it resets their character doing that's very simple um i recommend just go creating a starter gui and then just doing an image label and then grabbing the thing that you wanted to do so like like i said there's all these things right here uh, oh yeah see like there's this little dance one i have and you're just gonna grab this id okay and then what you're going to do is um so i can delete that now i'll go back into this just um paste it i guess oh well now you can just go image uh and then equals i think it's just like this i'll double check real quick in the, uh, in the documentation but um yeah honestly pretty simple that's kind of what a top bar is and the reason i'm sending you guys this one is because it actually works with oh here we go we gotta do it like this um here we go just like this um just like that and you could go right here now if you did both of them so let's say you if you have the text and the image now it's going to have the text and the image so it should actually work yeah so now it's going to the text and the image so like i said that will do that um but if you wanted to just do just the image you just get rid of this that comma um play it again and then it should just be just the image now so uh, pretty cool stuff um yeah and as you can tell there's like real things like it gets rid of it um like i said if you wanted to do it to the left uh you could do that so i could go um left um i could go middle i think oh no maybe it's, it's just left and then there's order so orders as well this helps uh, you put them in order so if you were to do order one order two order three so if you have other buttons up here um it would do that for you so i hope you guys like this little short tutorial nothing too crazy um i'm gonna make another video on doing some more stuff and i'll talk about this really later as well as um the avatar game or outfit thing i'm gonna make a bundle with that that's gonna have a lot of more stuff in it as well because i know you guys want some like more things with that so yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did feel free to just hit that like button everyone it means a lot and hit that subscribe button um and i'm going to be posting a lot uh, as much as i can now and uh yeah i will see you guys in the next video uh bye, -bye everyone